yes i can see that i can see the boundary box which means our model file and our code is working fine hello guys and welcome back to the channel so in the previous video we discussed how we can detect persons in an image file and in this video we are going to discuss how we can detect persons in a video file so what we are going to do is that we have our test video uh, let me show you the test video so we have this test video which we are which we are going to use and basically what happens in this video is that all these persons they come and they go away and then we'll simply detect all these persons like these two so we are going to do inferencing on this video file and we'll see if we are able to detect these persons or not uh, i'll put the link to this particular test video in the description so now let's get started so we'll are basically the code will remain the same but instead of that uh, image file we will just simply read the frames from this video file and along with this we are also going to display the frames per count so if you don't remember we did a video on fps where we displayed the frames per second count on the live video feed uh, it was showing around 25 to 30 frames per second so we'll see how much it shows in this case and how we can improve the fps count in 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 our project so what we are going to do is that i'm simply going to copy the code from my fps example because we are going to use the same code to display the fps i'll simply copy it in this file now along with this now we are going to edit we'll edit this code uh, so for this code we will will have to first import our model files and the classes which the model use so for that i will copy these lines which we discussed in our previous video great so now we have this uh, what we are going to do is we have we are reading the frames from this particular file uh, here we are reading all the frames and then we are resizing the file video as video frame as well and uh, we are counting the frames so somewhere here we will do our detection part so this is again going to be same just what we did in our previous video i will calculate the height and the width from my frame so frame dot shape now we have the height and the frame we will simply calculate the blob so let me just copy that code as well so blob and the detection great so here we are i just need to replace this image from the frame frame so frame we have we have converted that into blob and we are passing the blob into our detector and we are getting all the detections here now once we have the detections here we are going to do the same part which we did in our previous video we will going to use the same for loop and we will modify it as per our need so after detecting all the persons we will iterate over this particular for loop so i just need to import numpy here as well import numpy as np and i'll name rename this as frame okay so now we have our for loop and uh, we are inferencing over a video file so we have the frame and we are displaying the rectangular box on the frame so i think this should work fine now so what we are doing is basically we are reading a video file uh, here this is this is just for the fps and then we are reading the frames we are resizing it and then we are getting the height and the weights we are converting it into the blob we are passing this to the detection detector and then we are iterating over all the detections we got uh, and then we, at the end we are simply displaying the rectangle for the person let's try to run this code and then we'll see if it throws any error or not okay so it is running perfectly fine but you can see that the fps is really very short so you can see that it's perfectly working fine but fps is very slow let me just try to resize this window into a smaller window so that it becomes a bit let me just take the width as 600 okay so as you can see the fps is very low in this case 
it's not even able to load the file although my hardware is very very fast it's i5 7 generation with 8 GB RAM but it's still it's very low FPS is 3 while previously when we were doing it it was very very high although it will it will be able to detect the persons but because it's very low so it's it's of no use let's wait for this lady to come and then we'll see if it's able to recognize sorry detect this person or not yes I can see that I can see the bounding box which means our model file and our code is working fine but just because this this is performing very slow so it's of no use so I think we'll end this video here and in the next video we will discuss how we can improve the FPS in this case uh, we will use OpenVINO framework to increase the speed of our video to increase the speed of our FPS and thus it will be more useful to us so thank you for watching this video Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.